Hey there, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. What I wanted to do in this video is show you uh, how to make an accountant's copy of your QuickBooks file. Okay, so first things first, um, what is an accountant's copy? All right, an accountant's copy is basically where you take your file, you make this accountant's backup, you send that accountant's backup to your accountant, to do your taxes, to do whatever, maybe make adjustments to your file, uh, correct something. It could be any number of, of reasons why you would want to do this. So you send it to them, they open it, they make their adjustments, whatever they're doing, and then they send back to you what's called an accountant's change file. And you um, import this accountant's change file back into your QuickBooks file. And what it does is it meshes their changes uh, that they made into your file, all right? So what this allows you to do is you can still work on your QuickBooks file while they are making their changes and they can make their changes and then send them back to you and they just basically get added to your QuickBooks file, okay? So it's a pretty handy feature when you use a desktop file, especially um, if you're a business owner and you're sending your accountant's backup copy to them for taxes, it's a great way to do this. All right. So here is how you're going to do this. A lot of times uh, people will make the mistake of sending a full backup. And if you send just a full backup, uh, you cannot mesh those changes back into, you can't import them back into your file. And so you want to send an accountant's backup. All right. So here's what we're going to do. All right. If we go down to file, there's two ways you can do this. And I'm going to show you the way that uh, just in generally in general, we've had uh, more success uh, with clients. OK, so the first one is if you go to, to file here and go to send a company file, accountants copy. OK, and if you go down to client activities and send to accountant. OK. So this will use the Intuit uh, transfer um, system, okay? And this talks about, you know, sending an accountant's copy, um, and so on and so forth. So when the accountant gets it, they have to click a link and then they can get the file. We've had problems with this in the past um, to where clients will send it and we cannot retrieve the file. Um, so maybe you won't have that issue, I don't know but we've had that issue plenty of times in the past, okay? So if you just click next and you go through the, you know, the prompts, it'll send it for you, okay? Great service, we've just had problems uh, getting those files, okay? So the other way is if you go down to file and you say create copy, okay, you'll see you've got backup copy, portable company file, or accountant's copy, okay? This is where you're gonna say accountant's copy, it says create a compact version of your company file. Your accountant will use it to make adjustments you can import later into your file. Okay, so if we click next, we say uh, accountant's copy. All right, and you'll see here set dividing date. Okay, so if, if you're sending, for example, for taxes and it's for, you know, 123117, you can say custom and change the date. Um, if it's for a month end for some bookkeeping or, or maybe they're, you know, reconciling an account, you know, whatever it is, you can say end of last month. Okay. So you basically just set this date, this dividing date. All right. So then you click next. It must close all the windows to create this file. And then you're going to basically save it wherever you're going to save it. Okay. So I'm canceling that, but you're going to save that file and then you're going to send it to your accountant. So you can save it to a thumb drive, give it to them. You can save it uh, just to your desktop and then, you know, email it to them. Um, a number of ways to do that. Okay. So what's going to happen is when you have that, an accountant's copy, it's going to say up here at the top in parentheses, accountant's copy exists. And you are a little bit restricted on some things you can do, but for the most part, you can do most of your day-to-day -day functions in QuickBooks, still operate just like normal while the accountant does work on your file and then they send it back to you, okay? All right, and then when they do send it back to you, okay, uh, when there's an accountant's copy exists, uh, there's an option under here where you can um, import accountant's changes and it'll mesh 
those changes back into your file. Okay, so quick and easy. This is just quick and easy way to uh, send your information to your accountant without having to, you know, print reports or you know, send Excel spreadsheets or uh, send a full backup or whatever the case may be. Uh, the accountant's copy transfer service can be a, a, a definite time saver. All right. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment here. Uh, happy to have you like the video. That'd be great. And if you want to learn more about the QuickBooks University, head on over to qbuniversity.org.